an important day for all of us on this stage. We are gathered here to celebrate more than a decade of learning. We're surrounded by all of the people who taught us and inspired us with our education. As we leave here and move on to the next chapters in our lives, we will carry all of the life lessons you have taught us. So with that in mind, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who participated in my growth as a student and as a young woman. First, I'd like to thank my mom, Deborah Davis, for always supporting me with my decisions no matter how challenging they have been. Mom, you've always been my role model. You're like a superhero to me. You've always done so much on your own, and that has shown me how to be, in it, to be the independent person I am today. You have always been there to push me where I needed to be pushed. You are the reason I tried so hard in school and in everything I set out to accomplish. You have always been my provider, my friend, and my inspiration. I don't know what I would do without you in my life. The next person I'd like to thank is my confidant, Maria Cobo. Maria. You have been a big part in my spiritual growth and have always been supportive of me. No matter how distant we drift, you always come back and are always there happy to listen. Maria, you've always known how to help me put the right foot forward in any situation and have always been a positive push in the right direction. In many situations, that push has led me to my coup. Through you, my relationship with him has grown stronger and I am thankful for, you, for God placing both of you in my life. Mr. Angry and Ms. Thompson, you two have carried me above and beyond my goals I set for myself. You guys have constantly gone out of your way to help me, to help ensure that I need to succeed in everything I do. You started out as teachers but quickly became friends, and I will forever be thankful for having the opportunity to have you two amazing people in my life. Coach, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. I remember one softball practice sophomore year when the team was being so disrespectful and rude to you that you ended practice early. You didn't actually say practice is over, but we all got the idea when you threw the bat and stormed off the field. <laughs> Since then, we argued back and forth about my bad attitude and your approach to coaching girls. We never saw eye to eye until the end of my junior year. We had the chance to really sit down and understand each other's point of view. That trial that I went through with you helped me become more understanding, to have patience, and also was an integral part of growing up for me. Thank you, Coach, for sharing in that growing experience with me. Next, I'd like to acknowledge Casey Tumis. You and I have a long history together. We are very different in personalities and characters. But we connected on some level where we're always able to enjoy each other's differences. We both, we were both at new points in our lives. I started high school and she just came to a new place. We didn't see eye to eye when you were my teacher, but as my friend, I knew I could count on you. We might not be very close anymore, but I want you to know how much I appreciate you and everything you've done for me. Now, I want to take a minute to talk about my best friend and my boyfriend, Andrew Burnett. While others have helped me grow at school, you have always been someone that I can trust to give me the advice that I need outside of this building, even if it's not what I want to hear. You've changed me and been a positive influence when no one else was. Even though we've faced many obstacles in our relationship, these past couple years, we've always managed to overcome all of our challenges. <laughs> And you put an amazing, you brought me your amazing family, and I couldn't be more grateful. I don't know what I would do or who I would be today without you. And I would like to thank you for all that you've done and everything you will do. I love you. Next, I'd like to recognize my friends, Cheyenne, Nisha, Sierra, Madi, Andrew, Tonsil, and Terrence. Not only are you guys my friends, but you've become like a second family to me over the years. We've always, we've been through it all. I'd like to thank you for sticking with me throughout all of my high school, no matter what our differences have been, and always being by my side. I hope we continue to keep in touch throughout our lives, and you guys don't end up just high school friends from the past. You guys mean way more to me than that. I cherish our friendship that we've built over the years, and I'd like to thank you all for playing an important part in my life. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my family. 
Through your ups and downs, good choices and mistakes, I was able to learn important life lessons and how to make better decisions. You have inspired me to be a better person and rise above any challenges I may face. I appreciate you guys always being, always believing in me, even when I didn't believe myself, and always loving me, even though you really didn't have a choice. I am forever grateful. God couldn't have given me a better family. I'd like to extend my sincere appreciation to all of my teachers and administration for and your dedication. To all of my family and friends, I'd like to thank for your support throughout my time at RCA. You've given me more than a mere formal education ever could. I will go out into the world with confidence because of all of your combination efforts. Thank you for the lessons you've taught me, especially the one thing that you have implanted in all of us, the need to challenge traditional wisdom and search for our own answers. I will forever be grateful. No matter where I go or what I do in this big world, I promise to never forget that I owe it all to you.